What's going on guys? Awesome Nurture here back with another Destiny video. So we have some more Destiny figures, a kind of like a strange assortment of all sorts of Destiny figures to show off here that my brother has picked up and so we're just going to show them off. So we're starting off here with the McFarlane toy figures that we've done in the past before but we got some new updated figures. So we have um, a Cade 6, Zavala, and Ikora. So these are some of the new figures. I believe that's all that they have. There is this other character but he doesn't want it so we won't be doing that one. But um, the other three figures of course are the brand new ones out of the set that will be opening up here so I'll go through open them and you know show each one and everything and then also some other mis uh, miscellaneous stuff we have we have the new cage six figure from the um, big I forget big toy big I forget what the place is called that does these big shot toy works is what makes these little figures we've done a video on these in the past but this is the new one of the Kate 6 holding the chicken but of course we'll see that in much detail and then he also got the loot crate exclusive Kate 6 I it's supposed to be it doesn't really say loot crate anywhere on here but it's supposed to be the loot crate exclusive from one of the I believe um, the loot, loot gaming or whatever it's called box is what that is from so we'll take a look at both of those as well and then the last thing from this is these um, two ghost figures so they're just some um, two vinyl figures um, of ghosts of course ghosts from the game and so we have um, the, sh the just normal ghost shell that you have in the game and then we have the kill tracker shell as well so they're just vinyl figures they don't do anything they're just little display things um, but we'll go through and just open each of these and just take a look at them real quick of all of them so let's go ahead and get into it so we're starting off with the McFarlane toys here first so these figures which we as I mentioned we have done in the past so um, probably at the end of the video or something you will um, be able to see or find our old video of all the McFarlane toys that we've done in the past of all the different Destiny characters. But this is again the new wave, so that was I believe considered wave one, so this is the wave two. And so um, we're starting off with all like, they're all labeled as Vanguard Mentors, I don't know exactly what that means. I don't play Destiny, I've seen a lot of it played and my um, brother's like obsessed with Destiny. So that's why we have all these figures and everything, but I don't know a whole lot about it. So I don't know all the details going into, into this. But here we have Cade 6. And so he's, of course, um, at least my brother's favorite character and stuff, and just a fun character because he's always making jokes and quips and everything. Um, so again, we're going to just have a quick look at these. We have done figures like these in the past, or at least we've done like Cade 6 and stuff, so we don't have to go through all the details and everything. So of course, here up on his head, we do have his normal like mass, his robotic head. Again, I don't know if he's a human with a, just a mask or if he's a robot. Don't know exactly for sure, but it's hard to see. But you can see he's got a weird face, but he does have the horn on his head, which of course is always fun. Then he's got a hood on with some more of this detailed design. I assume it's supposed to be one of like the classes of you know like the different groupings of people in the game. I assume that's what it's supposed to be because it's also on this cloak or this like cape down here on his back that you can see here going down there. Of course it goes into an all tattered cape there. Um, but then going into his body so that's all attached there. He does have a scarf thing. He's got his like outfit on here and he's all like a mix and match type guy. So he's got you know like a shoulder piece going on here going into his arm where he's got this detail um, like picture patch probably going in there then into his arm where he's got some like diamonds stuff going on to his hand which his hand is a little weird shape i don't know if i can uh get it here in the white area so you can see but it's just a little weird shape like they've messed up with the thumb or something but it's not too bad then he's got of course some metal going on his fist there then the other side got a different shoulder like piece of going on here or i guess it matches this side there uh down into his arm then some more diamonds and then just a hand with no things going on there then he's got a sash going across the front of him which i believe just is probably the help attaches the capes i don't know if it's helped hold the cape on or what um but you do have the claps there as well to hold it on uh then going down into his belt where he's got a knife i believe it's a knife could be a sword don't know for sure here in a sheath on his belt that he can obviously use to fight with going down his leg some more um matching here of the shoulder part there on the side of his leg going into the knees where he's got some metal and then into his boots there where he's got some metal covering there some like shin guards and stuff into the shoes there that he's got really pointy shoes on like it's they're weird looking shoes as you can see um funny looking shoes there um just to show some articulation because these are mcfarland figures so they have a really nice detail they look you know very realistic and everything and um so mcfarland's made toys for years so they know like a lot of detail and everything so just for articulation he's got his head which you know has the normal back and forth it doesn't uh, move up and down that much probably because of the hood and everything but it does move a little uh then he's got the shoulders which are kind of stiff because of probably his clothing here that makes it a little stiff so it's hard to move but you can move his arms you know up and down and to the sides and everything then he's got elbow joints um which are like i don't know if i can show it in there if you can see they're like notch so you know every time you do it, it's like a little click 
going in and out of there, so that's nice. Then, of course, the wrist can move all around and move wherever you need to. Um, then he's got a waist thing, which is kind of stiff, but it does twist back and forth at the waist there. Then we do have the hip joints, of course, that move. Um, it's like a double hip joint, so it can move um, up and down like this, or back and forth like this. And then it has another little joint off of it that moves it to the side there. So it's kind of cool that it's got that double articulation points there. Then in the knee is right there, and again, it's got more of the little, like, clicky things. Again, I don't know if you can see inside there, kind of, you can see it, but again, like, each time it goes, it clicks along, so it helps to hold it. And then it's got a foot where it's, uh, can move, oh, I've just popped the foot off. <laughs> this one, I you know, can move back and forth a little, and then it can go side to side as well. It's got a little bit of movement. So they're nice figures, but with, um, Cade 6 here, we have the Ace of Spades gun here, so it's a gun, obviously, you can put it in his hand, it's his gun, and then it does have a little notch here, so I assume you can stick it on his back somewhere, although I don't see a spot on his back, on his, oh, maybe, um, I don't know if that's what this is supposed to be, but it can go on his, uh, our, our leg there he doesn't have on the other side so I assume that's what's supposed to be just a little pin to stick it would be nice if there was a holster there at least to look like it was going into and I just pulled it off of the peg so that's nice um so you have the pegs there at least to help pull it on and put it on the side there and then they each come with a base with the destiny logo and the two so for destiny two as you can see there so it is nice they do come with stands the last figures did not come with stands so it's nice again that they put stands with these so you know you can actually stand them up on it if I can get it on there so you can stand up on it and everything so that's it for Cade 6 then next up here we have Zavala again we've seen these characters before in like the big uh, big shot toy works these figures I'm pr pretty sure we haven't seen them in the Mark Farland toys yet um, but here so um, we're just gonna take a look at him we've already done all the articula articulation everything so there we have his face where he's all blue he looks kind of like I believe they're called warlocks but I don't know if he is one or not I don't know how to describe but I know when I um, my brother got me to play it for at least a day. I was a warlock and had blue skin like this and everything. So there we've got his face. Then going into his heavily armored body. So of course he's got all the armor up here. I believe he's a titan I want to say. But I don't know exactly if that's how you say it or um, or exactly what he is. But I believe with the size and everything he's a titan. Um, so then on this arm of course we got all the armor there going in the, from the shoulder down the arm. And then of course on the forearm and stuff into the hands where he has a little piece of armor. Then on this side he's got a big giant like shield on that side with of course um, the double headed bird there I don't know exactly what that's supposed to be logo or anything could be the Vanguard logo or something I don't know or the um, uh, Titan logo or something I don't know for sure but he's got that giant piece on his arm there that I think looks cool and then of course down into his arms then it's chest plate which he does have um, some sort of logo I believe it's the double headed bird thing there again it's looks kind of doesn't look too good on that um but he's got that going into his body where he's got some like a brownish red color then into a belt with nothing on it but on the back he does have like a little like cloth hanging off with some this logo here and then so it's got the cloth and you know it's all tattered and dirty and stuff to make it look like it is you know been in war and everything then on his legs he's got these giant pieces of armor and i like how this one has the blue like indention into it. i don't know what's for but this one doesn't have it but I like they did that to, you know, just make some differences. Um, then he's got, you know, big, like, armor going down his legs into his feet and everything. And so he's all super powered out with armor everywhere to ready to fight and everything. Uh, then on his back, it's not much different there. You can see the differences in the back there. Um, for the gun, he does come with the origin story gun here. So here is a look at the gun. So again, they put a lot of detail in the gun, I assume, to make them look as close to the video game as well. And it does have the peg also, so you can take it and stick it into his back there as well, so it can sit into the back. And he can store it, and then it also does come with a base as well. So that's going to be it for Zavala. And the last McFarlane figure here is Ikora. And so this, again, we've looked at in the big um, Shot Toy Works figures before. Um, so here is a closer look at her, so you can see there's her head with her short hair. And um, I like the pinkish purple colors going on here. I really like that look and design. Um, but there we have a patch logo there on the side of her, um, her, her upper shoulder there. She does have a necklace with what looks to be a coin around her neck there. Um, then going in, she has this piece of armor here. And it does have that uh, similar logo to what Zavala had on his uh, cloth or cape thing hanging off of him. But it's a pinkish purple. Again, I like the colors they chose for this and everything. Then she's got some um, a pink arms there going underneath. Probably her underclothing. And then she has some, looks like some armor pieces there covering her forearms with some leather and everything. Then going down the front, so again, it's that um, piece of under, 
um, shirt she's wearing, whatever, I guess, because that looks like a jacket there, and then an undershirt that has the arms and the insides there. Then she's got the jacket on that goes all the way down, you know, the pink outline with the purple there, and it's got this orange design on it. Again, another, like, logo stuff of whatever her group is. Um, I don't know what group she's a part of. Um, but it's got that logo on both sides. And then I like the belt here with the orange cloth all the way around it and everything that goes there with the, some of the leather belting. And then she's got some stuff here. I assume to be just some sort of like weapons or something attached here. You know, there's the long metal. Then some like strings hanging down with some more metal pieces there. So that's probably just some sort of things. Then she's just got some brown legs there. Some probably some leather wearing into the, her boots there where she's got... Um, weird looking <laughs> boots on that look almost like real boots you'd see in our world and everything so there's um it for icor oh there's a look at the back just in case you didn't see that there then she's got her weapon of the deadpan delivery there and so that's just a look at her again it looks like a shotgun yeah pump action shotgun and again she's got the peg or it's got the peg with the hole on her back so you can stick the gun in there for that. And she comes with the base as well. So that's going to be it for the McFarlane figures and this one, Ikora. And now we've got the Big Shot Toy Works figures. Again, we've done a whole video on all the other figures of this that they've released. But this is the Loot Crate exclusive. So again, it was in like a Loot Gaming box or something is what this came with. And again, it's very similar to one we've had already. But the only difference is the other one had a wrench in its hand where this one comes with its gun. The Ace of Spades here. So you can see the gun there. The one we saw in the McFarlane figure there. And I like how it's got, you know, the spade on it and everything. Um, to go, you know, go along with Ace of Spades stuff. So he's got the exact same outfit design and everything as the last one. Of course, these figures, they have the small bodies with the giant heads. But you can see the ma um, his mask or head there. Uh, of course, the horn, the um, hoodie going on down into the cape again with that red um, design going all the way down it there. And it's got the exact same armor outfit on and everything. He's got the knife and all that, um, leather gloves, the piece of armor there on the shoulder. Um, the belt, the, the scarf around its neck, again, I mentioned the knife, the leggings with that design going down it, and to the metal boots there. So it's all exactly the same, so we won't go into a whole lot of detail, but that's just the Loot Crate exclusive Cade 6. Then we also have the Big Shot Toy Works Cade 6, and this I don't believe is exclusive or anything, but this is a brand new character or figure that just came out. And this is Cade 6 with the chicken, so if you've seen the Destiny games, he has something to deal with this chicken, and so that's why he's holding the chicken. So again, he's in the exact same pose, so we'll bring the other figure here. So you can see he's, you know, got the hand, you know, posed the exact same way and everything. But this time he has a chicken. This figure does look a little bit bigger. I may just be deceptive of the eye or something. But this figure looks a little bit bigger overall. Um, but so he's got the chicken in his hand. But everything else, as I mentioned, is designed maybe a little bit different detail. Looks like the other one was a little more shiny on some of the black parts where this one's kind of faded. It's weird. They designed or whatever because it's like shiny all here and then like right here there's a very dull spot on its head so it just they didn't do probably a very good job of like painting over to get the sealant because the other yeah, cape looks all you know just bland and everything where the other one looked all shiny over but yeah so this time we've got a chicken in his hand so that's what makes a difference there so that's it for the big shot toy works figures and our last figures here are these ghost figures so again they're made by the coop is what it looks like the brand is called that makes these and so they're just vinyl figures so they're very similar to like pops and stuff you know just a vinyl plastic hollow on the inside figure and so this is the classic ghost or it says generalist shell which is just like the one you get in the game nothing special about it or anything and these are just figures like they don't do anything um, of course i know they make figures like the earth ones ghosts that look like this that can work with like the amazon devices or something um those kind of things but that's not what this is this is just you know a hollow plastic figure just to sit and display and everything so again we've got the different like all the different pointed parts of the ghost that look cool then it's got the eye part here with that design in the middle there and that's really all there is it does have you know like a blue triangle up there it's got these orange parts on the top and bottoms there not on the sides and then um that's it then it's got a base here so you can see so the base that's what it looks like underneath and it just got this clear peg again to make it look like it's floating and then it's black base there so it's just floats in the air so again it's just a display item you can just set up if you're a fan of destiny and have that there so again that's the generalist shell and then our last figure is the kill tracker ghost shell so the, again this is another ghost exactly like the first one but this one time it's the kill tracker so when you're playing the crucible or something like the multiplayer games and you know you get kills and everything this uh, count is what you know is like your shell that counts it or whatever and so i like it's the orange and the blue or bluish gray color down here then of course it's got the white parts where it was orange on the last one on the tops and bottom pegs there 
And then on this time, it's got like a the bird, so one of like the bird things there, and a king on that side. So I don't know exactly what those are supposed to stand for or anything, but that's it's got that design on there to go along with it as well. Um, nothing really otherwise design it looks like um, it's just got the center eye again that looks exactly the same there and then this time the base is a white color again with the destiny logo there so the clear stand with the white base there and there's the bottom of it and everything so again it just sits there and floats so again another just um, design p or display piece you can put with so you have both of these you know you can just set up and whoops, got it upside down. So you just have your ghosts there, you know, just hanging out. They don't talk to you or anything like in the game, but there they are. So that's going to be it for this Destiny figure review. So again, just a new set of de random Destiny figure collections that have just come out recently and stuff that we have gotten and just kind of want to show off and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And you can check out that Destiny figure review we've done in the past. I will try and have a link somewhere. Um, on this video, but check that out as well. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next time